want some coffee, dude? This is, man, this would be like the perfect beat to just wake up to and drink some coffee. Oh my god. Dude, maybe we should like build some band camp or something. Maybe people will like it. Maybe even buy it. Alright, did you add those statics on the purple? Attention, inhabitants of the planet you call Earth. We are the Vortex. Alien invaders from a distant galaxy who possess an intellect and technology far superior to your own. We have come to seize control of your planet and plunder its resources for our own purposes. To encourage your cooperation, we have unleashed monsters under our mind control rays. Monsters? Monster attack on your major population centers is imminent. That is all. Oh, siren dude. Oh, this way, we gotta go. We, we can't stay. Dude, there, there's a shelter by the beach. Just, just follow me. It's, it's not too far from here. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, dude. Just close the door. Close the door. Oh, dude, we made it. Uh, uh, it's shelter team. Uh, doctor, what are we gonna do? I can't load the fucking thing on my computer right now to read your chat, so I'm gonna have to look at it on the phone. So, like, oh, dude, I'm me, so sorry. Like, give me some fucking opinions, uh, please. I, I, I don't know. What, what, what do you expect? I, I, I'm just, I'm just a person. Groovy. What do you call Groovy? What do you think about? What do you stand on all this, sir? And, Mister, what are you mumbling? Groovy. I've seen him in my dreams. His beats, they played in me, and I've heard them. He can save us. Here, let me leave the shelter. Follow me. Missile, why are you headed to the ocean? What, what's going on here, dude? Just tell me, what are you trying to do? Groovy, I summon you. Please, protect the earth and the moon. And bless us with them groovy tunes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, I forgot to turn my my microphone on. Whoopsie. So, uh, happy Tuesday, everybody. I see Snouty's here, and Dimwit Devil's here, and Gad is here, and Kodiak is here, and PokeSav is here. Thanks for joining me on this wonderful Tuesday, the day before my birthday. I'm doing good. Very busy, because I, I started some freelance. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my happy birthday eve. Now I'm really excited for tonight, because we got the movie. Thank you, Pokestab. Thank you for the birthday wish. Um, so, after this, tonight, we are going to watch a movie at 8 o'clock. Um, we're going to watch... Uh, uh, the Poochie special, because nobody else has seen it, <laughs> except for me, and I want to share everybody uh, with it, because I used to rent it from Blockbuster all the time when I was, like, five, and we got catnapped. So, it's gonna be like, we went to the Blockbuster, and we brought home some movies, so, and I got some trailers in there, if any of y'all, like, watched, like, old, um, VHSs of Sailor Moon, or... Uh, VHS's of Pokemon. You'll see some like nostalgic stuff in there. So it's gonna be fun and we'll count down to my birthday. So um, when it turns midnight on the East Coast, we'll have like a we'll like, oh, it's my birthday. And then hopefully we'll make it to midnight um, on the West Coast, but we'll see what happens. Oh, hey, kitty. How's it going? And then tomorrow, we're doing a marathon of Pokemon Stadium 2 with my old Pokemon. We're starting at 9 o'clock in the morning, so get your donuts ready, get your coffee ready, because we're starting early. And we're going to try to finish. Keyword being try, because I don't know if we'll be able to finish or not. <laughs> so... Um... Yeah, like, I'm gonna try to get all the way to the end. It's... I, I'm using my old mons for my gold cartridge that I... Because I... My cartridge died when I was, um, like, like nine or something. And then I fixed it when I was in my, my uh, early 20s. And I didn't really have anything to do because I just graduated college. And I was like, well, I always wanted to beat Pokemon uh, Stadium 2 <laughs> Gym Leader Castle. I guess let's do it. So I trained up some mons. I had a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> and um, I played through the whole thing. And it, it's funny, it taught me so much about strategy. I didn't know really anything about Pokemon strategy until I played the Gym Leader Tower. <laughs> oh, thank you, uh, Snouty. Uh, good luck on your feelings. Thank you so much. Um... But yeah, so that'll be fun. And then uh, we'll see if I finish that. I'm hoping to finish it within like maybe five hours of starting. And then at eight o'clock, we got a uh, stream with guests. So I got a really cool birthday scene like for tomorrow. So that'll be a ton of fun. And we're going to play Pokemon Stadium 1 mini games. And we're going to play. Uh, we're going to play Mario Party 2. So we're going to be doing that with Gadworks and Aaron's Mind and Akuna Matata. So that's going to be super fun. So yeah, I've got a fun, very full day <laughs> today and tomorrow. Oh yeah, and tomorrow, um, I have a tip jar for Kofi, so if you want to give me a birthday gift, you can, and there'll be a special redeem that shows up, and, um, there will also be a little, if you want to wish me a happy birthday, there'll be a little, um, channel points redeem for that, where there'll be, like, a cute little special, like, birthday confetti sound effect and a little gift that'll be really cute. Also, your birthday drawing is going to be too late. I'm having issues with my laptop, and I might need to 
get it replaced. Oh, Snouty, I'm so sorry. That sucks. That's the worst. Uh, also, your birthday drawing. Uh, sorry. That's the same thing over again. Yeah. Don't don't worry about it. Like you, you you draw me so many nice things. Like I'm really sorry that your like laptop is having issues. Oh, thank you. Thanks for like you know saying you're gonna send me like you can just send me like a dollar. It's just like a tip thing. Like don't don't worry about it. It's and you don't have to. Like it's it's an optional thing. If you feel like you want to throw a dollar at my face, you can do it. If you need to save your money, it's no problem. It's an eight-year-old laptop. Yeah, that sucks. I have a ten-year-old Mac. I finally I broke down. Well, I, I said I broke down and bought the computer, and then the next day I got some freelance, and I'm like, well, that's good. I'll be able to pay for that new computer I just bought. So, but I just bought myself a new, uh, like, full desktop computer. So we're gonna be able to do some really cool stuff with that. So I'm very excited. I will actually be able to edit more videos. It'll do it much faster than what I'm doing now. Yeah, I was like, I really needed a new computer. So it was time. So last we were playing Pokemon, we were at the Lake of Rage and we caught a shiny haunter. And we also uh, went through the whole like villain hideout that was in like a shady store so we I tried to figure you beg me to stay Hey, I'm not staying I just wanna play and the party you just wanna rock big box oh, yeah, and the busted dogs yeah I added some some new redeems too <laughs> I'm yeah if anybody wants to click on the Patrick one that one's that one I'm really proud of that one <laughs> wow I feel good <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad glad you like them. <laughs> yeah, there there's I try to put gifts on stuff. Oh, thank you. I I was just trying to think like what would be really stupid. Oh, we're not ready for this yet. We got to train up our mons for just a tiny little second. Because we are slight, some of us are slightly under leveled. Yeah, we gotta work. Uh, so we gotta get at least up to 34. So, because that is, um, what's his name? I think it's Pierce. Because I know we were trying to figure out what his name was and nobody could remember. <laughs> no one was sure. I think it's Pierce. Yes. No. Price. I was close. I was very close. Oh, hey, Joseph. How's it going? Welcome to the chat. We're doing Pokemon Nuzlocke. And I have managed to go two streams without losing a Pokemon. So let's see if we can do a little more of that. Aw, uh, thank you for the happy birthday, Joseph! Yeah, I mean, my first uh, birthday stream tomorrow. I'm super excited for that. Yeah, we gotta level up our mons here. Because we're almost ready for Pierce. Oh, I saw the new Spider-Man over the weekend. That was really cool. I managed to go almost the entire, um, the, the entire, like, you know, the entire time until I saw it without any spoilers. And, um, like, the day before I saw it, one of my friends, like, he did, like, he didn't think it was a spoiler, but he was like, oh, by the way, uh, the, the, it's a two part, it's like, you know, he said something, and I was like, dang it! Like, don't tell me that! Like, even though he did say it was a spoiler, I was just like, man, because I, I was expecting it by, by the time we got to the end, and I was like, meh. I just avoid the- yeah, you have to! Like, I- I just run out of the theater. 
People will just go like, oh, do you, like, why are you getting up? And I'm like, I have to not see this trailer. Because <laughs> trailers just spoil everything. Yeah, I haven't watched a trailer since the trailer for um, Spider-Man Homecoming because I watched the second trailer and it completely ruined the movie for me. Because also being an animation and, you know, if you, if you study, like, story and stuff like me, like, I know how story structure works, so I was like, okay, looking at this trailer, I know exactly what's going to happen. And it, it's really cool to, like, walk into a... Uh, movie theater and go see something that you're really excited for and you have no idea what's going to happen. I saw the trailers for Spider-Verse but I forgot everything. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'll just stick in my mind by, if I'm watching something that I really want to watch. Like, I'll, I'll watch like the first trailer and sometimes I will watch no trailers at all. If it's something that I know I, that I'm already gonna like, <laughs> like for Spider-Man: No Way Home, I did not see like my, my husband was like, "Oh, there's a new trailer out. Do you want to watch it?" And I was like, "I'm not gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch no trailers." Oh, <laughs> oh, we got a rock wowza. All right, let's beat this thing up. The uh, what have we got? I guess suck a boy. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, suck a boy. Yeah, I know it looks scary, but also I forgot to mention this is a randomizer, so all the Pokemon are like completely random. All the trainers, Pokemon, the gym leaders, everything is random. Because we have like no ice moves. I don't think we have any ice moves. We're gonna really need some. Yeah, unfortunately, I've caught everything in this area. So once we beat Pierce, we can move on. Yeah, the Spider-Man movie was really cool. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, I just want to keep fighting these ninjasks. Well, it could give us like speed boost too, so that'll be good. Um, why does that? Pikachu sad. <laughs> oh, another one. Oh yeah, let me know if, if it's too loud. I, I hope that the redeems aren't too loud. Yeah, no, if you if y'all wanna like play around and see what I've got, there's like a lot of weird stuff in there. To uh, find Kyogre, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've run to a Groudon a lot on, on this um, particular area, this particular route. Oh, yeah, I forgot we can, like, pass. <laughs> I forgot to turn the speed up. Yeah, we can get through this much faster. So, Plum, what other games have you tried on Twitch? Well, we tried Crazy Taxi. 
And we, what else? We, oh, we done Cooking Mama. And let's see, what else have we done? We're doing a movie tonight. So if you want to check out um, the movie we're watching, we're watching uh, the Poochie Special and Catnapped. Um, two, like, movies that are, like, one, Poochie's from 1985. It's a, it's interesting. So Poochie was a toy line. It's like this little pink dog, and it's so cute. And I used to get the video, like, I used to rent it all the time. Like, every time my mom was like, what do you want to get, you know, from Blockbuster, honey? And I'm like, Poochie. It was, it was funny. It was, there was two things I would always get. It was Poochie and the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> that was it for me. I didn't need to watch anything else when I was five. <laughs> oh, that and Pound Puppies. So there were three. There was Pound Puppies, um, Poochie and so uh, The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Those were the staples. And, um, so, interesting thing about Poochie is that it's a Deke, um, like, pilot for a toy line uh, by Mattel. So, one thing that they, they would do is they'd make these pilots, and if they didn't get picked up, they would just, like, release them as, like, special, like, one-episode VHSs. It's funny, I have no- I don't- it's hard to, like, find anybody who knows what Poochie is. I've maybe, like, talked to, like, two people that know what Poochie is. Every when I mention Poochie, everyone's like, uh, The Simpsons, and I'm like, no! The pink dog Poochie! Oh, uh, hey, Chasm Works, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Ah! Tech! Ah, shh. Big piles of sugar. <sighs> Whoa, that is a scary face, cat. <laughs> yeah, let's bring out this Goyle. Goyle the second. Yeah, it's funny, I was thinking in my head, like, oh, Ice Gym, we got a lot of, um, steel, but I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, we're doing randomizer. It doesn't matter. At all, because everything is random. And a Pokemon can just, that we fight can just explode and kill one of us. And kill one of my Pokemon. And that's it for that Pokemon. But we've gone so far without losing anybody. We've gone two streams without losing anybody. But yeah, so the other, what other games do we play? I felt like we played something else that wasn't Pokemon. <laughs> Was that? Oh yeah, we pl and then I played um uh played we played Mario Kart. So that's what we've done so far. And then also, uh, I draw too. So, and I got a new computer, so I should be able to do drawing streams. More drawing streams soon. So that'll be fun. Ah, I, my nemesis. Okay. Yeah, Goyle. Yeah, Pokemon Crazy Taxi Cooking Mama and Mario Kart. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the most part. We've been doing a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> So, but one thing I really would like to do is, um, so I'm dyslexic, and I don't know how well it's going to turn out, but I would really like to do, um, because I'm like, I'm not the best typist, I'm like okay at typing, um, but I would really like to do Typing of the Dead, because I own Typing of the Dead. I own, uh, I own it on Dreamcast, so I definitely want to do that. And then, hey, uh, whatever birthday money that, uh, y'all feel like giving me, I will use to buy some Steam games. Oh yeah, also, we also did, um, our, one of our first ones that we did was, uh, The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. That is another game that we streamed that was really fun.
So yeah, I still need to play Sonic Frontiers. I'm gonna try to get around to it soon. I'm itching to play Sonic Adventure 2 again, but I told myself I need to wait on that one until the trailer drops for the third Sonic movie and completely makes my mind explode. Because I cannot wait for that. I want it so bad. I just realized in your chat box, but fancy letters, um, when you accent stuff. <laughs> Way to stream banjo uh, for a subathon. Ooh, yeah, I want to be there for that. Oh, why did I fire? What did I fire ping? I'm stupid. I'm so dumb and try to bite a fish with my fiery fangs. But yeah, if anyone doesn't know about Pokemon Stadium 2, it is a brutal brutal game that cheats but it is I find it very fun because it's brutal I am a masochist and I enjoy putting my hand on a hot stove over and over perfect for birthdays exactly so I, I was watching um, a guy do like just on, on the side do Pokemon Stadium 2 and I was like, oh, that'd be kind of fun to do that. Because I really like that game. And then I started, like, playtesting it for the stream, and then I couldn't put it down. And I'm like, oh, I want to keep playing. So I'm just like, okay, I know what I want to do for my birthday. And my mom's like, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I'm like, I'm busy on my birthday. I'm gonna Let's get together the day after my birthday. My husband's like, do you want to go out for your birthday? I'm like, no! I gotta play Pokemon and play with my friends! So we're gonna do something later. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. We're doing good. I think I, like, wasn't paying attention. I slightly over-leveled Mega Baby. But that's okay. So let's see, like a boig. Mega baby. Mega baby too powerful. But yeah, if we were actually going up against an ice gym, we would do great, but we're going up against randos. All randos all the time. Okay. Oh yeah, I had like the best guacamole this weekend. It was so good. Yeah, because I went I went to go see the movie with Gad and our spouses and our friend um uh Chasm Works. So that was fun. Yeah, we went to this Mexican food restaurant and we ordered the guacamole and they make it fresh right in front of you, and it's just the best. Like, I wish I could make fresh guacamole. I mean, I could do it, it's just like it's a lot of effort to make fresh guacamole. <laughs> Glad I could catch your stream film, wanted to say hi, but I have to finish uh, coloring an animation. Uh, if you're still streaming, I'll make sure to come back. Uh, it was nice seeing you all. Bye. Bye, Joseph. Yeah, if you can, try to come back um, at 8 o'clock um, Pacific Standard Time, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're watching a movie. It's gonna be fun. Seeing Spider-Verse in theaters really felt like an event. A whole audience was on, edge on the edge of the street. Yeah, everybody clapped at the end. That was really cool. Yeah, my husband was saying that sometimes he would watch and he'd forget that he was watching an animated movie. Because it was like... It 
didn't have like a lot of those like kitty tropes that a lot of animated movies have. Oh really? At your theater everyone was screaming like crazy snouty? That's awesome. Man, I had a good time at the theater, but I swear to god, I wanted to strangle. And I'm, I'm sorry, it's like, I really, I really wanted to strangle. There was uh, the girl that was sitting behind me. There was a little girl with her, her dad, um, and she was sitting on his lap and kicking the back of my seat the whole time I was trying to watch the movie. And I just wanted to turn around and just like, just like... <sighs> I did look back at them, and they just ignored me. <laughs> they just pretended I wasn't there. So it doesn't happen to me very often, but I was just like, and she kept like getting up too. And every time she would get up and go to her seat, cause she would, she was running around the theater like a little maniac. I seriously, I, I was so pissed. <laughs> but I was like, I just want to enjoy my movie. <laughs> There was a kid uh, who nearly spoiled game, spoiled Endgame in front of the crowd. What the heck? Like, don't do that. I remember, like, when I went to go see Endgame, um, because we were seeing it pretty early, um, they had a, um, like an employee who said to everybody, like, hey, be really cool. Don't spoil this for other people, because the people that are coming in after you haven't seen it. Because, like, there's just, like, jerks who will just do that. Like, I know there was, like, a whole thing um, when one of the Harry Potter books was coming out, and people were, like, spoiling stuff left and right. <laughs> like, they, they would just, like, drive by, like, bookstores where people were waiting in line and just, like, scream out spoilers. <laughs> Yeah, I have had my share of pretty bad movie experiences. Like I got I got a handful. I bought tickets for Endgame on opening day. Uh, and I um and I stopped by a McDonald's for a drink. Yeah, all, like, Chasm works. Seriously, all of the worst experiences I've had, for the most part, have been at the AMC 16. It is terrible. There, so, there is an, there's an AMC, um, that, um, we frequent a lot called, uh, Burbank AMC 16, and it is gross, the seats feel moist, um, and they, they feel moist all the time, and I have had some of the worst experiences of any movie I've ever been to. Like, the people who go there are rude. Like, the, sometimes the lights won't turn off. Hey honey, talking about how theaters <laughs> suck. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm complaining about going to the movies. I still have fun at them. The majority of the time, I have a really good time, but there are those times where I've been to theaters and I just wanted to strangle the people next to me, or the lights won't turn off, or my favorite one, when um, me and my husband went to go see a Dragon Ball Z movie, and we waited 30 minutes for them to start the, the movie. We're, we're all just sitting there, because this is like a one-night show, and I'm just like, when are you going to start it? And so they finally start the movie, the movie gets to the end, and like it's it's like the climactic battle scene, and right it cuts to an ad in the middle of, of the fight scene, and we're just like, what the fuck? So what had happened was, is that these um, are on a timer. Ooh, bullet punch. So these um, theaters, when they're showing the movies, they're on a timer. Yeah, I know. And... Uh, if the movie doesn't start on time, then the ad will just play when it was supposed to. 
So everyone was like screaming like, what the fuck? And we all, like all of us, everybody, because you could tell, you know, that we're all like, we all went and saw the Dragon Ball Z movie because we all had like, I had my, my DBZ dress on. Everyone had like their whole, like DBZ Hawaiian shirts on. And we went to the, um, the counter and we got our, uh, we got three, I think it was three or four, I think it was three, um, movie passes each and we could use them for anything. And that's how we saw the first Spider-Verse for free because we got, um, we could use those tickets for IMAX and that was really cool. I know. Isn't that stupid? It's like that, that is the worst. And, and another one that was really bad. Let me just decide on this bullet punch. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. I want bullet punch. How strong is bullet? Knife five. Miss forty. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Bullet punch. You never finish nope. Oh yeah, did you have a really bad movie experience um trying to see nope? What? What the heck? What, like what happened? Why did they stop? Oh my god. So, they it just never started playing again? Wow, Snouty, you are lucky that you have never had bad movie theater experiences before. You are very lucky, because I, like I said, I got my list. I can rank them, which ones, like, from, uh, you know, too, too bad to, oh my god, I hate life right now. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, Juju on, uh, Ante? Juju Ante? Yeah, I think I, I hope I'm saying that right. Thanks for joining the donut party. The Regal fan for life. I don't know, it seems it doesn't matter. Because, like, I went to the Regal, and that's where I got my seat kicked. <laughs> but yeah, I went to another... I went and saw Captain Marvel, and there was, like, a kid who was movie hopping. And I don't have a problem with movie hoppers. Do whatever you want to do. I'm not going to tell anybody what to do. But if you're movie hopping, do not, like, seriously, like, don't look at your phone. I don't care if you've been with your friends all day and you're bored and you've seen like 40 movies and you've already watched Captain America, it is not cool to sit there looking at your phone. It, 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 like, that's like one of the things, like, I wish that there were more Alamo Draft Houses. Because Alamo Draft House is a movie th uh, theater where they will kick you out if you're too noisy or um, you're on your phone. And I love that. And the only one that is close to me is, like, right in the heart of L.A., and it's really hard to get to. Theaters are pretty clean here. Uh, you just occasionally have to worry about the people uh, bringing 8 to 10 kids at a time. Uh, so if you're scared, oh my god, so let's just have, like, a bunch of, like, screaming children running around. Oh yeah, so many spoil ending for you in McDonald's. Yeah, not a big movie girl, girl for that reason alone. I... I do still like movies sometimes. I like seeing stuff on a big screen. Like, you really need to be with, like, a good crowd, and, like, a good crowd can be hard to find. <laughs> like, I knew when I went to that Dragon Ball Z one that people were there to, like, go there and, like, watch the movie and have a good time. But unfortunately, like, <laughs> just the people who were running it were shit and had no idea what they were doing and started the movie 30 minutes late. Oh yeah, and then, um, 
I went and saw Allegiance. Me and my husband saw Allegiance, which is George Decay's play. Um, and they were doing, at the AMC 16, they were doing a one night only, um, like they were showing the recording of it. And so the theater is like packed. It is like full of people and it starts and it has a, uh, like, um, like an introduction with George Decay talking about the play and it's silent and the lights are on and everyone's looking around like what is going on <laughs> and or everyone's like oh no like they don't know that it's playing without the the projectionist doesn't know that it's not playing you know that it's playing without sound and so like people like go or like leaving the theater go like hey like this is a one day show only and, and it had already it had gone to the play, and the play was going without. So I'm like, what the heck? Like this, this is a one day like thing only. So they finally they they finally reset it, but they don't reset the um, the introduction. So I missed that. So that sucked. I was looking for it because I wanted to see the whole thing. So but it start they restarted the play again. So but that was ridiculous. Like, that's the thing that grinds my gears the most, is like, they are so bad at doing, like, one-day shows. They are terrible at it. Every time I've, I've gone to see a one-night-only showing, like, they've either, like, forgot to turn the lights off, or play without sound, or, uh, played it late so that an ad plays in the middle of the movie. <laughs> I did go to one, um, like, independent screening where, um... Uh, the people who are putting it on, I thought they had like a digital version or something, but they had like a Blu-ray and they were playing Akira because they're like, oh, like one night only showing of Akira in like um, Santa Monica. And so Aaron and I go down there because I love Akira and they, they, it's playing and it gets to the end and it keeps skipping and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, god damn it! You, like, you didn't test this before playing it? <laughs> I was just like, oh my god. So, if they eventually fixed it. I guess somebody took it out and, like, put some, some Windex on it and then, like, wipe it off and put it back in. But I'm just like, oh my god. I know, it's like, it's. If you're gonna, it, 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 that doesn't make any sense to me, the how, like, it's not, it's not hard to test things and make sure that things work. But yeah, that's why, um, we don't go to the theater as often as we, as I, as we used to anymore. <laughs> Now, luckily, we got, like, a nice TV and a nice, um, sound system, so that really helps. Like, we were watching, during the pandemic, we watched Dune in our living room, and it was, like, really bassy with the, like, the bass that we had, and, like, when the sandworms were, like, rising to the ground, we're like, whoa, like, the room was shaking because the bass, like, was so high. Okay, that worked. Bullet punchy. Now bully punchy it again. Yes. Bully for me. So close. We're almost there. Almost at level 34. Come on. Yay. Oh yeah, and then there was another theater experience. I just saw Guardians of the Galaxy. 
and there were people that were like talking like the whole movie. And those, I also wanted to strangle those people, and I, I just tried to like ignore it. I'm like, I'm trying to think of like what is harder to ignore. Like somebody kicking your chair, like chat. What would if you had to pick one? Would you rather have somebody kick your chair or have somebody like talk the whole time? You have to pick one. I'm kicking my chair. I I feel like I feel like I I could tune somebody out if if somebody was talking the whole time. But kicking my chair like really takes me out of it. Yeah. So the people they they do they they're keeping their voice kind of low, but they you can still hear them pretty clearly. <laughs> it's 4DX. Yes, that's what I should have done, Gad. When that little girl was kicking my chair, I should have I should have let it immerse me <laughs> into the movie, especially during the quiet scenes when she was nonstop kicking my chair. <laughs> Should I just electrocute an electric squirrel? Die, electric squirrel. Ah, I hate you. Just die. I don't like you. I don't like you, Pachi Risu. I don't know. I feel. Uh. I <laughs> feel like I'd clear leather on either of those. <laughs> My lawyer asked that I clarify that that was a joke. <laughs> yeah, I actually have seen 40X before. I've been there- I've been- I did it once, and then I'm like, okay, I'm good. I don't think I need to ever do it again. Because it was- I saw it for Jurassic Park. Was that- that one now? Like, Jurassic Park. Because they had Jurassic Park 4. Do they have a Jurassic Park 4? Or only Jurassic Park 3? I think there was only Jurassic Park- so, this would have been Jurassic Park 6. Um, and, yeah, I saw, I saw it in 40X, so that was, like, Fallen, was it, what was the last Jurassic Park called? I don't know. Dinosaur Kingdom? I, I don't know. I don't freaking know. It was so boring and forgettable. <laughs> um, and it was long. It was so long. But yeah, we saw that in 40X, and that actually, the, the 40, the 40X, like, the seats moving and everything actually helped keep me awake, because I was falling asleep <laughs> during that movie. <laughs> but yeah, that movie was not good. I do not recommend it. <laughs> when I saw Endgame, there were some people who brought beer bottles with them, and when that... Assemble scene came. They literally threw it across the theater and okay. Now that that's a bad movie experience. Oh my god. I never had seen that happen. When I was thinking I saw glass jars. That's dangerous. Oh my god. That is so dangerous to be throwing anything. <laughs> oh, what have we got? What's this now? Oh, it's Raiku. Raikou, let us hit you with our kicks. Die, Raikou. Oh, it's too strong. It's gonna run away. Oh, wait, it's not gonna run away. You get some points from it.
Honestly, not bad, just crazy. I would be pretty pissed off if somebody threw beer bottles and I, and I was in the theater. Unfortunately, the yeah, good is a good thing nobody was near it. Jeez. Well, like, that's ridiculous. Well, you know, it's also, like, it's not cool to throw glass. But yeah, I think we'll go until, like, five, because I got stuff I gotta do, and then, you know, we got our cool movie thing tonight, so go for one more hour of streaming. I'm gonna try to get through as fast as I can. So we can get to price. Get that old ice man. Oh, we're so close. We are almost getting everybody up to speed. Because I don't know what we're gonna fight. Oh yeah, I also went to the Cinerama Dome back when that was a thing. It was like this theater in downtown LA. Um, do I ever, can I fight this thing? Yeah, I can, I can do it, yeah. We can do it, you Goyle? I believe in Goyle. I believe in you Goyle! Go Goyle! Oh, you were so close! You almost had it! Okay, cool. That was like, it was like a five combo right there. Um, but, uh, what was I playing? Oh yeah, the Cinerama Dome. That was really cool. I saw, um, saw Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World, um, and I also saw, uh, Mad Max Fury Road there, which was awesome. It was so crazy seeing that because the screen is like, it's so freaking big. It is ginormous. Also, like when when I went and saw like Jurassic Park, I like I, I fucked up, <laughs> and I accidentally when I bought the tickets, I thought I was buying them for the back row, but I bought them. I screwed up and I bought them for the front row, and the screen is enormous, and I. I bought the tickets for all my friends, and we're all having like crane our necks up, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I screwed up. And they're like, it's okay. Like I felt so bad. I was such a big dummy. That's the only time I've ever done that. Like ever since then, I've been like so careful about when I buy tickets that I know where the screen is. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have a Cinerama Dome anymore, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I also saw the last Harry Potter movie there too. The Thought for Free. Um, yeah, before uh, J.K. Rowling got cancelled. Yeah, I wish, I wish the Cinerama Dome was still there. I miss it. It was cool. All right. So we just got Goyle. Just gotta train up the Goyle. I'm gonna Goyle's gonna punch the fighter. Is that to work right? Cause it's poison. Yeah, there's no more Arcolites out here either. I don't know if Arcolites are gone altogether, but that was a really cool theater. Yeah, go Goyle! That's funny, I can like hear, because my husband's watching my stream, so I can hear the Ed and Eddie horn going off in the other room. <laughs> Kick it! Oh no. Karate chop the uh, milk claw the uh. 
Dead. Die. Okay. Gonna metal plot. So many ninjasks. So many legendaries and so many ninjas. I'm so tired of looking at these. I mean, I'll appreciate it later when I get the stats, so. Ah! Just, this whole place is just crawling with Rayquazas. Oh, sword stance, yes! <laughs> Alright. Let's get rid of me first. Aw, uh, hell yes. Yeah, she is gonna dance. Oh man, that is, that is awesome, chat. We got a super awesome stat boosting move, yeah! And I can karate, I can brick break. The stupid squirrel, because I don't like it. Why is it so hard to kill every time I try to kill it? Why? <laughs> like, seriously, why Why is that? It's weird. Everything is the karate chop. Big fat seal gets the karate chop. I'm just imagining we're, like, chopping all these Pokemon like, down the middle of the map. Chopping them down the middle and have their bare hands. Oh yeah, that's not even... Eh, it's fine. Eh, that works. Alright, so where are we at? Level 30... Okay, so we only got one more. Oh, we got one more level to go. Come on. Then we can do gym leader stuff. Yes, all right, we're ah! Karate chop you. Why is it this? Oh, it's just flying, probably. <laughs> Die to my karate chop. Okay, we are good. Let's go fight an old man. All right, chat, let's do this. I should check and see if anything's got like held items. I don't think that there's any Pokemon that have held items. Beat the crap out of that old man. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? And let's try not to let anybody die. I had another itch on Pokemon, didn't I? Oh yeah, it's right here. Right? No. I just, I caught that one. So that one we can use, right? No, I think... I think this was an HM Pokemon. But it's not like we're going to be using a Hoo anyway, so... Uh, nope. No items. Nada. Nothing. Zilcho. Yeah, we're going to steal his money. We're gonna buy so many rare candies. Oh shit, if I, if I run across a place that has like rare candy, they'll probably buy a few of those. Oh, it's Gracie Pizza Dude! Hi, Gracie Pizza Dude! We're gonna go beat up an old man! Gracie Pizza Dude's super cool. He's in a band, he's in a rock band.
They're called Q-Bomb, and they're awesome. Alright, let's beat the hell out of some skiers. Ooh! Okay. I think you'll be okay, buddy. You should... Yeah, brick break it. Let's do that. Yes! Did you hang out with you the other day? Yeah, it was a ton of fun. Yeah, check out uh, Q-Bomb. Q-Bomb's awesome. They're a punk rock band. They have really awesome music videos and their shows. I've seen a few of their live shows and they're awesome. We are already on Goyle the second. Yeah, so we we have Horse Goyle, and then this is Goyle the second. So when I catch a Pokemon, I let Chat name my Pokemon. <laughs> we have a lot of fun here. Yeah, let's let's go for a sword dance. Ah, oh, that sound is so satisfying. Dang, what you got? Nothing. Uh, pick a metal claw. Man, oh, I got so close. Brick, brick. Brick, brick. Yeah, Greasy Pizza Dude's the, uh, the, uh, keyboardist in the band. Butterfree. Man. I was, like, ready for, like, something that I could, like, really, you know, let Goyle the Second go crazy on and destroy with the sword stance. But I think this works, too. But you don't get that satisfying, like, sh -sh -sh -sh, you know, when, like, it dies, that sh -sh -sh, I can't really do it. But you know that sound was something super effective and just like, oh, it's so satisfying. You know what, chat? I'm really sorry to do this to you. I have to go to the bathroom. I will be right back. Just one second. Okay, I'm back. Let's do this. All right, so we got a puzzle. We're gonna have the ice puzzle coming up, so that'll be fun, but yeah. These puzzles aren't too hard. Wow. As I say, as I fail at the puzzle. Okay. So if I go, do I have to come back out and do the puzzle again? <laughs> hey Blue, how's it going? We're in uh, Pierce's gym. Let's see, what, 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 which one are we at now? This is our... 
So we're on our our uh, seventh gym badge. So that is pretty darn cool. There we go. Now I got it. Hey, Aaron's mine. How's it going? We're in the gym. We're in the thick of it. My mons are ready to go. I'm feeling good. Ah, Squirtle. And a sword stance. Ooh, just set up Twitch on your TV. So you're all ready for the movies? Nice, that's awesome. I hope you have a fun time watching it. It's gonna be very silly. How many badges are in the game? So, because you got the Kanto badges too, so... That's like 16 badges total. So, this is a long game. Oh, you... Ah, oh, it's running away like a... Ah! Camera up! Holy crap. Die, please! It would be so cool if you died. Ah! Okay, I think we're fast enough, though. Yeah! Take it! <laughs> She's throwing the bones of her enemies. Yeah, we took, took him to the bone zone. But yeah, the Kanto section is like a lot shorter than the Johto section. But you like go back because there's like a time skip, so you get to see like all the gym leaders, and I think it's like there's like a two year time skip. But I would really love it if we could get all the way to red in this. So, I think that would be cool. Oh, this thing's going down. Karate chop. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm sorry you can't taste. Oh, that sucks. Hopefully, won't, like, I've had friends that have had it happen to them and it didn't last for very long. So I'm really sorry about that. Oh, we're almost at that old man. Whoa! Uh... Hey, hey, Panther Fire Cat. <laughs> I am having a heart attack right now. Uh... Okay, funny dog. I know. <laughs> uh oh. Ugh. Oh, Panther Firecat, something amazing happened. We kill it? Yes! Hell yeah! Uh huh. I showed Sherbert the Sherbert Inspire mocktail I made and they liked it. Oh, that's cool! Yeah, I think I remember. Did you show me that? I think you did. Yeah, I, I've heard of Sherbert. How do we get to that? I want to get to that guy. Yeah, we're going to have to get to that guy. Okay. So I swear I thought I saw it somewhere. Okay, Goyle, you're still good. You're good, Goyle. Goyle's just, like, sweeping everybody. Hmm, that's a water ice, I think. So yeah, I think fighting or steel will be fine. Yeah. Nobody can stop this goyle. 
Okay, so Psychic and Steel. Bone Rush? Shoot! It's levitating. Dang it. It doesn't look like it's levitating. I know Chimeco levitates, but that one doesn't look like it's levitating at all. Okay. So, we need Mega Baby. I know Goyle is killing it until, like... She met her match with a tiny little bell. I know, levitating one-eighth off the ground. I know! Just... Why can't Mega Baby bite it? Just... Oh. Bite. It. Right. Thank you. Finally. Jeez. Yay, Goyle! Good Goyle. Alright, meowth. Alright. Smokescreen. Okay. Uh, the smokescreen doesn't even matter. I guess we'll just bite the shit out of it. That works. <laughs> Yeah, bite it. Bite it with your big jaws. Alright. Let's heal everybody up. I hope that we do okay. I get scared every single time. Like, I'm, I'm afraid to be confident. Like, oh yeah, we got this. We're doing good. And then I'm like, oh my god. Somebody's about to die. Get him. Get him. Thanks, everybody. We're gonna do this. Just make sure, like, everyone is healed up to full. Alright, yeah, let's, let's go with Goyle. As, uh, the one in front. You can do this, Goyle! Okay, now how do we... Okay, do it. So, all I have to do is... The... Uh, uh, ow. Dang it, I'm stuck now. Oh uh, yeah, you can show me the mocktail pick. So, it's like that. And then, like that. Right. Uh, like, these puzzles should be easy. I just, I'm like really bad. Okay, so I'll go like that. And then like that. And then like that. And then... <laughs> Can't move that anymore. Okay. Like your Instagram or Twitter DMs. Yeah, either one is fine. Which one is the- Ah! Oh, why am I so bad at this? Oh, hey! It's Gil- It's C. Gilman. Thanks for joining the donut party. How you doing? I am really bad. At- Trying to figure out how to beat up this old man. I'm gonna like just be trying to do this for like. <laughs> just like. <laughs> hey girl! It's like, I know I can do this! How do I. How do I do it?
What the? Because I know I, I just need to, like... All I need to do... Is just... Get... Oh my god, I'm so angry. This should not be this hard. I know! This should not be this hard! I just feel like I'm really dumb. Because I can't get it. Okay, I'm gonna try to try this again. Like I said, I'm gonna be at this for like 20 minutes because I'm so dumb. Okay. Maybe what I need to do is that. Maybe. Is that... Aha! Ho ho! I did it! Yay! <laughs> Hate these ice levels. I know. We haven't even gotten to the freaking cave yet, so get ready for that. <laughs> get ready to watch me, like, scream and struggle there. Alright. Oh, deep breath. Let's do it. <laughs> Takes me at least 30 H uh, tries on average to navigate that these, place these places, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm just like, I'm dumb. But I figured it out. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I, too, have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have tr have been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power! A <laughs> nice old man voice, thank you. <laughs> I'm so cold. Why did I make my gym ice themed? Okay. Yeah, let's set up swords, swords dance. Perfect. All right. Do we attack or do we set up again? Let's set up one more. Let's let's just go for it. Yeah, you're going to be fine. You're good, girl. You got this. All right. Okay. Brick break. break. Yeah! That outfit is not suited for a freezer, no. <laughs> yeah, we, we can do this. Mm, let's see, is there anything that's like super good against it, but I guess we could just like hope for a, a good stab. Everything gets the karate chop. Yeah, we're doing it. Goyle is just a machine. She cannot be stopped. Oh, this was such an easy gym. Oh my god. So this would have been... I think he has a mammal swine, I think. This would have been his mammal swine. It's been turned into a horsey. <laughs> I feel like kind of bad. Yeah, the crowd shop is OP also because we set up two sword stances. So we got, we have our we had our um, attack raised uh, times three. Yeah, we beat the crap out of him and stole his money. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of my badge. We got Price's badge. We got the Glacier badge. That badge will raise special stats of Pokemon. It also lets your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. Yeah, oh boy, my favorite move and my favorite uh, obstacle. I love Whirlpool. 
It's great. And this is a gift from me. All right. TM the album. It's hail. Oh, hail. Yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, David Wentworth. How's it going? Thanks for joining the donut party. We just beat Pierce. We we taught that old man a lesson. Uh, yeah, and we didn't lose anybody again. We're doing good. It's funny, like, uh, people always say when you do, um, uh, like a Nuzlocke, it's always so hard in the beginning. Oh, Professor Elm. Plum, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcast. Ooh. I should probably do, like, let's see, can I do, like, a... What's the, the... What was the, the name of the professor? Like, for the one from, um, The Simpsons? It was like, <laughs> I think I want to do that. They were talking about Team Rocket. <laughs> Plum, uh, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that can't be true. <laughs> Sorry to bug you. Take care. <laughs> God, what was that guy's name? I know it off the top of my head. It's gonna kill me now. Working on boards for a commercial over here. Ooh, nice. Nose luck is when uh, Pokemon KOs and you have to let them go, right? Yep, that is exactly what we have to do. So we can only catch the first Pokemon that we see in a new area. Or if our Pokemon get KO'd in battle, we have to release them. And this is a randomizer, so we could run into anything. The gyms are random. All the like every encounter is random. The trainers are random. So it's just balls to the wall, nuts. Also, some of the shops are random too. Was it Professor Fink? I think it was Professor Fink. <laughs> that one. I love, like, there's, like, one, um, like, clip of him that I really love where he, like, it's from the Treehouse of Horror where he's been turned into a- Damn it! I can't- No! I wanna leave! Alright, well, that's right. Professor, um, Fink said that we had to go to frickin' um, where the radio tower is, so. That's where we're going. No, I know. Yeah, it does have been a 10 for a while, it's good. Yeah, we've been, we've been doing pretty good. Playing uh, Nuzlocke's in the beginning is always really hard. But yeah, like, we lost, like, almost our entire team in one gym leader fight. Because the, um, the, uh, the gym leader uh, that we were fighting, we are fighting Bugsy. Uh, the bug, the second gym, and uh, Bugsy had a Machamp, which completely annihilated almost all of our team, and I had to use... Um, self-destruct to save the last, the last Pokemon from dying. <laughs> so, we, yeah, we lost, uh, I think that was, in one day we lost six Pokemon. <laughs> oh, I guess I could have flown. I'm a big Dumbo. I was there. Yeah, you were there. You got to witness the horror. <laughs> It was a murder spree. It was so awful. <laughs> Gramps over here would be like, I think you'll find uh, you'll find escape uh, quite impossible. Oh, this place is covered in Team Rocket. Don't belong here. Get lost. 
Oh! Pokemon. They're nothing more than tools for uh, making money. Hee <laughs> hee. You gym leaders uh, can be a problem. Stay, stay in the gym. Stay out of the way. So the city's covered in Team Rocket. Take over the radio, Terra. What? It's none of your business. So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest? Graham! All right. Oh, the music. It's so dramatic. Okay. Who is itching for a fight? I think Tree Bitch wants to fight. She's a classic Team Rocket Pokemon here. It's like giving, giving Persians a bad name. Okay. Okay, I need a disguise. Oh, it'll be even cooler since I have a Persian! <laughs> Alright. I know there... Oh yeah, there was that place where we took that picture before. How you doing, tree bitch? Tree bitch is poking at garbage. Don't poke at garbage! Tree bitch, you're embarrassing me. Just like Giovanni, no one will know the difference. No one will ever know! <laughs> but yes, I am Giovanni. <laughs> huh? Are you a newcomer too? We had to recruit new members for the Radio Tower mission. Then we ran out of uniforms. I heard this studio has some, so I decided to borrow one. Since you are here, why don't you uh, change as well? Look at you, pretty good. Oh. But you shouldn't try to scare people walking around looking like that, okay? We gotta sneaky sneak in. Tree bitch knocked a uh, glass off the counter. Tree bitch! Alright. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm giving everyone a Brooklyn accent over here. Forget about it. Is there, everyone is healed up, right? Everyone's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we healed everybody up. Okay. Gotta go to the radio tower. Ah, you must be new. You look pretty good in that theme rocket uniform. Go on ahead. Why, thank you. Oh! It's my right- it's Blungit! We haven't fought Blungit in a really long time. Stop going around in groups and troubling people, you cowards. Huh? Are you plum? What are you doing here? No way. You think you're strong now? No, you think you're strong now that you look like them? That's foolish. You shouldn't wear those things. I don't like it. You remind me of my dad. Why you? You're not a newcomer. 
Then battle with me. All right. Whoa. But you got this tree, bitch. I'm gonna fake it out. Fake out. Oh, I love that move so much. Okay. Fiori swipes. <laughs> My dad. My dad left me the gold form of gang that <laughs> kidnaps people's pet. Why? Can we kill this thing in one hit? Yeah, oh, ah, oh, we got so close. I'm gonna scratch it to death. I'm gonna squish its little head. Yeah, you're strong. You are too powerful. You could spoil our plan. I have to inform the others. Well, I see. You were trying to be sneaky. Huh? A typical idea of the, the meek no matter. I'll let you handle this. I have to defeat the dragon tamer. That's his, what's his name? Lance. After that, I will be your it be your turn be ready for it <laughs> i want to see a pokemon show about a kid whose parents are in team rocket yeah that would be funny all right we're gonna fight yep we gotta fight all of these guys no, we're not scared. We're not scared. Me and Tree Bitch are ready. Oh my god, this is gonna be hard. Mom, Dad, don't do the speech in front of my friends. You're embarrassing me. Tree Bitch so strong. I wish I could use that attack more, but I think it only works once. Voltorb. I think we can kill this thing in one go. Yes! Trayvage so powerful! Has run one strong kitty. Give me all the slice of life Pokemon shows. Yeah. So I like Pokemon Chronicles because it like had different um, episodes that were about like, like one episode was about Misty. There was an episode about Gary and him being a professor. Yeah, those were fun. The Godfather 4, Giovanni. Yeah, I get that bird. Prepare him for trouble and make it double. You come to me. On the day of my Meowth evolution. That's <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I love it. That was really good. <laughs> Gary, I've never seen... <laughs> I've never seen anyone so pathetic. I miss old Gary. Like, old jerk Gary is, like, from the first season of Pokemon is so great.
Misty and Gary were so nasty, everyone. It was great. Yeah. I went back and I watched a clip of... I don't know if they still do this, but I was like, I was watching a clip and... Because I had forgotten how mean Misty was to Psyduck and like, she like hits him sometime and I'm like, oh, that's so sad. Because <laughs> it's like, he's just like, he's just a Pokemon. It's like, don't, don't like, you know, physically abuse your Pokemon, Misty. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking up a clip for it because I'm making a redeem and she like slaps him really hard on the head. And I was like, oh. It was like funny. When I was a kid, I like hated Psyduck because I was like, Psyduck's dumb. I don't like him. But like now as an adult, I love Psyduck. He's like one of my favorite characters. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm. Getting gotta go do gay stuff now. Go, all right, go do gay shit. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, happy pride. That's right. Happy pride, everybody. My birthday is in Pride Month. Alright, let's switch. I think Funny Dog will be okay. You're gonna be okay, you're gonna electrocute it. Oh no, my not having watched The Godfather is showing- You haven't seen The Godfather?! Like, all you know is the quote. But to be honest, like, I did watch The Godfather, and then I like, I fell asleep. <laughs> While trying to watch it. It's like the Lord- like, I feel so bad. Every time I try to watch Lord of the Rings, I'm just like, out like a light. I do want to actually finish it one of these days. Shree bitch. Break out. So, is it like, is Persian just like taking his, like, paws, like, Tribich taking his paws and just like, slapping, <laughs> like, Charmander's cheeks really hard? <laughs> is that's what, is that what's happening during the fake out? <laughs> that would make me flinch too if somebody walked up to me and just slapped both my cheeks really hard. <laughs> Yeah, oh my- oh gee, that'd be so funny to witness. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's like a cartoon. Being like stuck in that position. <laughs> I should draw that. Mm, slap, slap, slap. Yeah, my cat just slaps and scratches. Alright. I think Zuckaboig could use some experience. Yeah, I really love fighting, like, especially, like, doing, like, the Team Rocket stuff. You can run into some really cool Pokemon encounters here. 
Because like every everything's random. <laughs> This Pokemon looks like a gummy. Like it's made out of like gummy candy. Lopany. And furry bait Pokemon. A little sea slug. I'm gonna bullet punch you before you get a chance. Ah, dang it! That's the using door. Just die. The Kimba Pokemon. Ah! Okay, we're good. So I was like, don't be Mega Baby. Kitty versus Kitty. A little flame. Why did they give her fuzzy handcuffs? <laughs> That's funny. They did. You're right. She does have fuzzy handcuffs. All right. Let's check out Slash. Is it worth it? So Slash does 70 damage. I feel like it's best to like switch to Slash, right? Yeah. All right, we got Slash now. Ain't hey, nothing, nothing against Tree Bitch. Yeah. The scientist, do you want to fight? Yep. Scientist Garrett. Not a fan of this moth Pokemon. Not a fan of the design. It's just okay. Ah, bug bite. Whoa! Oh yeah, cause it's psychic. Whoo! And bug is good against psychic. Oh, this thing again. This little tiny bell thing again. Oh, we don't have anything good against it. I mean, well, yeah, it's not bad. Huh? I did more than I thought I was gonna do. Yeah, it kind of sucks that um, every Pokemon... Yeah, it always has to be like a rodent, and there always has to be like some kind of butterfly Pokemon. It was like the two like beginning Pokemon that nobody cares about. Oh yeah, and a bird. Got a bird, a rodent, and a uh, and a bug. I'm gonna punch this bird. I still like Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto's a cool bird. Oh, thank you! Thank you for the birthday wish. 
Yeah, my actual birthday is tomorrow. Pidgeotto is best burb. Pidgeotto is a good burb. Do I have a favorite burb? I'm sure I gotta have a favorite burb. I never thought about it because I don't use a whole lot of like the bird Pokemon. So I'm like, what bird do I like? I don't know. I have to, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Best burb is Hoot Hoot. <laughs> Noctowl is a pretty cool burb. Altaria. Yeah, Altaria is pretty cool. The dragon bird. And Corviknight. Which one was Corviknight again? Honchcrow. <laughs> yeah, Honchcrow's got like the, the big chest. And the top hat made of feathers. <laughs> Well, I guess Skarmory is pretty- like, in terms of, like, if we're just talking about design, I think Skarmory is pretty cool. It's funny, like, I remember in, in the show, they like, like, oh, Skarmory's like one of the fastest Pokemon and, like, flies through the sky and is a big metal bird, and Skarmory in the actual game is, like, slow as shit. Skarmory sucks. Oh, is Corviknight the taxi bird? Oh, is it that big crow? Yeah, I remember it now. I don't know the names as much of the newer Pokemon. I didn't even play the last Pokemon. Yeah, I had carried like a giant thing and it was like a- It was a giant flying bird ski lift. <laughs> Yeah, he's like a boy. You plan to rescue the director so sad that won't be possible because I'm gonna beat you. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Huh. Hmm. I think I go home. Yeah, I need a bullet punch. Ow, gosh. Huh. Big impact. Oh, fruit bucket. Try it again. Giga impact! Yay! Zapdos is a cool bird. I like Articuno. Articuno was a pretty bird. Ooh, that's scary. Ah! Okay, at least it was just Ember. Oh yeah, we were like a sitting duck for a second. Articuno is my favorite legendary bird for sure. Yeah, I like Articuno. Articuno's pretty. I like I like the ribbon looking tail that it has. My least favorite out, out of all the birds is probably um, Moltres. Moltres just looks okay. It looks kind of silly. Oh, why did I mud slap? I should have mud shot it. Yeah, somebody did a, a stream where. They uh, did a, a Nuzlocke, and every, all the Pokemon that they saw and the routes that they went to, they had to make a uh, Pokemon out of yarn. And they got they caught Articuno, and they did this really cute Articuno made out of yarn. 
But yeah, that's a really cool, really cool video. Yeah, you should check it out. I think you'd like it. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, they just, like, played until they got six Pokemon and they made, um, like, all the ones they caught out of yarn. And they do it for, like, different games, too. But yeah, I think if you look up, like, Pokemon Nuzlocke Yarn Challenge on YouTube, you'll find it. New hobby interests unlocked. Oh, look at that Meowth. That is so cute. I want to bring Tree Bitch out. Alright, so I figure I probably gotta go... So we, w we go down here and we can't get in here because it's locked. Team Rocket Boss has locked himself in, but the director can't open it. He's up on the fifth floor. Please save him. Okay. So we need a key card, but we're about to be done. So we'll have to pick this up. What a chaotic meow meow. Meow meow. Why, why do I have to suffer through this? Help me. Oh, this is like Meowth, help me all. Team Rocket, there's something they lack. It is music. Music enriches people's hearts and soul. Musical lovers would never do such a horrible thing. Do such horrible things at a place like the radio tower. Who are you? If you're in the way of our, our proton, I mean theme rocket, I won't allow that. Still love Galarian Meowth. Oh yeah, with the beard. Ooh, that's cool. I think Grumble's kind of cool. I'm gonna slap your cheeks. S slap your doggy jowls. Oh, I meant to use Slash, damn. Oh, Needle King. Oh, that's another Pokemon that I love. Nino King's just so freaking cool. I think you'll be okay, buddy. Okay, yeah. We can deal with the poison sting. Ah! You're gonna be okay. Oh, do you have a berry? Oh! It finally came in handy. Man, I swear if I get poisoned again. Okay, good. Yeah! He's one cool thick biff. Ah, I love the sound that um, Flareon makes. Ooh, okay. I think you're ready for a break. Go Stampy. Gonna surf. Oh, got a squirrel. I'm gonna throw up right in its face. Blah, blah, blah. 
Got to go to a meeting. See you later. Have fun and good luck for the rest of the Pokemon journey. Aw, oh, thank you. Thanks, uh, Sigil man. Hope you have a good meeting. All right, and I think with that battle, we're going to call it a night. What a nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's like invaders. I'm like, what a nice lady. <laughs> okay. So I am going to go now, but we are going to be back at eight o'clock. And we, and uh, if you're on the, if you're on the West coast, eight o'clock, if you're on the East coast, 11 o'clock tonight, we're watching movies we got trailers, we got Poochie, we got Catnapped. It's going to be a super fun time. So I will see you later. Oh yeah, all the Pokemon are okay, Dimwood Devil. No one died. We're still good. But I gotta go now. So yeah, I will see you guys at 8. So, see you in a bit. Bye!